uh, just to kill the suspense um, and diving down to the uh, energy dividend aristocrats, um, it, it bears out exactly what you're talking about. I mean, you've got Northwest Natural Gas, they're a distributor. Um, Helper Campaign's a rig owner. Consolidated Edison, that's like the quintessential utility. Uh, MGE Energy, same deal. Uh, Atmos Energy, natural gas distribution utility. ExxonMobil, the duh, integrated of integrated. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Energen Corp. Uh, it's an oil producer, but um, they actually just recently cut their yields, so it's probably take them on the list. And uh, Chevron, another integrated oil producer. Um, so is that where people should be looking for dividends, guys? I mean, if you want a company that's just going to plot along in the markets and pay consistently raising ri- rising dividend, then sure, yeah, that's that's great. But you're not going to see a whole ton of capital appreciation from these companies. No. Right. But at the same time, I mean, there is a lot of power in that. You know, I think one of the things that's underappreciated, um, you know, uh, when we talk about dividends, dividend stocks, we always think of them as an income stock. Uh, that idea where it has to be somebody who is looking to use the dividend to simply you know, pay for lifestyle or supplement income in retirement, something like that. But for younger investors, dividend investing can be extremely powerful in that dividend reinvestment model. And you know, we may look at it and say, oh, these companies don't grow at a very fast clip. However, you know, from an individual investor standpoint, that reinvested dividend model on some of these companies that have shown year in, year out that they can do Dividend payments and dividend increases. You know that can be a pretty powerful tool for building wealth. And if you're holding term. it for 20, 30 years, well, yeah, you can like, almost get the stock for free. Essentially, is each dividend. If, if you look at a dividend instead of income, if you look at a dividend as lower, lowering your cost basis, each dividend you pay, you get the really stock for cheaper. Yeah. So yeah. 